going on, man? Matt, I'm going to come back on to give you... Slightly. It's really kind of the same wind that we had yesterday, so it's coming sort of out of the southeast. There is some sculling involved now, a little bit in helping out and coxing a couple of these boats from his platform behind them to make sure that we have a good, clean, and safe start. And the girls' second freshman eight. Second freshman eight, showing the depth of these freshman programs in these uh, for these teams. In lane two, we have Jacksonville Episcopal. They're in a gray boat. In lane three, Sarasota Crew. They're in a black boat. Saras uh, lane four is Plant, and lane five is Sarasota Crew B in a white boat. Red flag is up and down. We have a start in the girls' second freshman eight. Here they come. early to the 100 meter point. Jacksonville Episcopal wants the lead. They have it at 100 meters. It's only about a seat advantage over Sarasota Crew below them. Oh man, just how close this race still is. It's tremendous. Nobody falling off the pace whatsoever. All four of these boats almost the same speed, very evenly matched across the field. Again, Jacksonville Episcopal a slight lead, maybe two seats now over Sarasota Crew in lane three. Set a crew A in lane three with about a two foot advantage on plant. Hit 250. Plant with about a three seat advantage on Sarasota crew B. So all four boats still connected from Jacksonville Episcopal all the way to Sarasota crew B. Very close, very competitive racing. 350 meters in for your leader. Bow lady in that boat is the only lady who is clear of the rest of the field. So that is her advantage. It's about a deck and a seat for Jacksonville Episcopal over Sarasota Crew. Sarasota Crew with about four seats now on Plant, and Plant with about three quarters of a length on Sarasota Crew B. 500 meters in the girls' second freshman eight. It's still Jacksonville Episcopal, but here comes Sarasota Crew. Very, very close at that 500 meter mark. It's going to be too close to call. It would be a photo finish at the finish line between Sarasota Crew and Jacksonville Episcopal. Episcopal had the lead. We've got a new leader now. It's Sarasota Crew in lane three. Sarasota Crew now with about two feet on Jacksonville Episcopal, which is about a, a seat. And continuing to move now through Jacksonville Episcopal is Sarasota Crew. Behind those two, in third place, it is Plant. Plant with an overlap on both of those boats. The Plant bow ball sitting right about the seven lady in the Sarasota Crew. Eight that's in first. Sarasota Crew with about four seats now for the lead, for the gold medal over Jacksonville Episcopal in second. Sarasota Crew B is off the pace a little bit, about three quarters of a length open water between Plant and Sarasota Crew B. We approach halfway, we're, we are going to leave them off. It is going to be a lead at the halfway point for Sarasota Crew. Sarasota Crew through that red buoy line. They have three quarters of a length advantage over Jacksonville Episcopal in second. And Jacksonville Episcopal with about a half a length advantage for that second place over third place bronze medalist at the moment, Plant High School. I'll give it to you at the finish. So thank you, David. We will be approaching the last 500 meter meters in the final of this. The girls' second freshman eight. And once again, it is right now Sarasota Crew in the lead. Jacksonville Episcopal in second. Plant High School in third with Sarasota Crew B in fourth. We did ra race this race yesterday for a race for lanes. The results were not the same, but that doesn't matter. Today is the medal round. Today is where you collect the hardware. In first place, it is Sarasota Crew. Sarasota Crew out there in the lead. Jacksonville Episcopal and Plant. I have a feeling that that's going to come down to where the real race is going to be today. Jacksonville, again, ended up third yesterday in the race for lanes. But Plant High School and Jacksonville are going to have to race it out the entire way. Silver and bronze. 
In first place by one length right now, it is Sarasota Crew. Sarasota Crew is up there ahead of Jacksonville Episcopal. Jacksonville Episcopal and Plant High School are going to be the ones who battle it out the whole way. And we're going to be coming up on the last 250 meters to go. It is Sarasota Crew in first place. It looks like Plant High School has put on a lot of speed here. They've been closing all the way. It looks like it's going to be Plant High School and Jacksonville Episcopal. Plant High School looks like they may have moved into second place right now. Plant High School is pouring on the speed right now. Plant High School and Jacksonville Episcopal are going to be overlapped right up to the last stroke out front. It is going to be Sarasota Crew. It looks like Sarasota Crew A out in front with about a one length lead. It looks like Plant High School has moved into maybe silver medal position. We're going to have to wait until they get come up right on the beach here. Sarasota Crew and the girls, second, freshman, eight at the state championships. They are on their way home. They want to collect that gold medal. And it is Plant High School who has moved solidly into second position for the silver medal. In first place, it is Sarasota Crew. Plant High School has come with a huge late charge. They're eating into Sarasota Crew's lead. It's Sarasota Crew. It's Plant. It's Jacksonville Episcopal. These will be your first, second, third place. It's a question of how close can they make it. Sarasota Crew out in front. Plant High School hanging on to them bow to stern with Jacksonville Episcopal in third. Coming into the last five strokes, it is going to be Sarasota Crew collecting a state title in the girls. Second freshman eight. Bow to stern over Plant High School, your silver medalists. And in third, Jacksonville Episcopal put in one heck of a race for a bronze medal. And rounding out the field will be Sarasota Crew B. We'll head back up to the starting line with David for the start of the next race. Thank you, Matt. The next race is going to be the boys' installment of the second Freshman 8 race. Let me set the field for you. There are five boats in this race. It is a grand final. In lane one, 